Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm going to be reviewing for you the Dear John perfume from Lush Cosmetics. So the scent ingredients for this one are cedarwood oil, vetiver oil, coriander oil, clove bud oil and a few other bits and pieces. So this uh, perfume is kind of deceptive in the way it smells initially. So when you first smell it, it smells kind of um dare i say a little bit manly um i know for a fact that lush last year for 2019 did a whole father's day collection around dear john so i know it's not just me i know that it is more of a male leaning scent um so yeah when you first smell it it, it definitely has a very sort of cologne type smell sort of like that traditional cologne smell that you get with older fragrances um, that older gentlemen tend to like which kind of put me off initially and when you do spray it it kind of does put you off initially what I will say is this one actually dries down really really nicely um, you definitely get the coriander oil um, the clove sort of calms down quite a lot the vetiver comes in and sort of um, yeah it sort of calms things down as well and towards the end it becomes almost very very soap like um in the way it smells so yeah it would definitely be the cedarwood oil i think the cedarwood oil would definitely assist in that more soapy smell on the skin so i, I would say within about you know 30 minutes the dry down sort of phase the initial dry down phase um it sort of loses a lot of the cologne type smell so if you are someone who is not keen on that type of smell like I am, I would definitely wait 30 minutes before leaving the house. Um, and then towards sort of like the eight hour mark, maybe the six to eight hour mark um, was where I noticed the change to a more soapy smell. And then in between that sort of stage, it was quite, um, yeah, it was quite uh, earthy and um sort of yeah very fresh earthy sort of herbally um yeah that's the right word herbally <laughs> um it almost smelled like lemongrass um just straight lemongrass which is kind of weird because there's no lemongrass in this at all um but i do suspect it's the coriander that's giving it that really fresh herbal smell to it um so yeah i i love the longevity on this one i got over 10 hours on this i usually um do these tests for about 10 to 12 hours um and yeah it did after about the 10 hour mark it did go down quite a lot um so yeah i, I would say it, it is an all-day perfume if you are someone who is looking for an all-day perfume this is definitely a good one uh, for you uh as with all my perfume reviews i do one spray on the wrist like this um, I don't spray on clothing or anything like that if you did spray it on clothing obviously it will last you know several days quite a long time um, so if you are looking for something that's just a bit of a background scent you can obviously spray your clothing as well uh, but on my skin uh, it was definitely around the 10 hour mark which is very impressive um, for most fragrances most fragrances can't last that long so it's very very impressive uh, now overall thoughts look this is not my favorite favorite smell um definitely not it's definitely not something i would normally go for and like i said the beginning and the dry down the initial dry down are just not pleasant for me um but yeah what once it once it gets into that sort of herbally place and the more soapy place near the end i really do like it um so I, I think i'll give it a three and a half out of five. Three and a half out of five i think that's fair because it's it's still very likable and i do like um the fragrance it becomes but it's just not my favorite thing um so yeah uh just to let you know as well they no longer do the 30 mil which is such a shame um i do not buy the 100 mil perfumes from lush i just don't feel like i'll ever get through the bigger bottles unless it's something i really really enjoy but I do just have so many perfumes in my collection that it's not worth it for me to buy a larger bottle. Uh, yeah, so the 100ml bottle is retailing for $140. So it is quite a big investment um, for this perfume. Um, and I think Lush did make a mistake when they made these perfumes all 100ml. Um, I think it puts off a lot of people from trying it. 
Um, so I, I do hope one day that Lush brings back the 30 mil perfumes uh, for the perfume library scents. Um, and yeah, because this is now classified as a perfume library scent. So yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all the support I get on this channel. If you'd like to see more Lush reviews, please stick around. And until next time, take care. Bye for now.